Hello everyone, Happy New Year! If you don't know me, my name is Shari and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I learned to crochet. Hopefully, this encourages you to try out something new for 2023. Let's get started. Hey guys! This is so awkward. <gasps> Today, I am going to be learning to crochet. The video that I'm going to be following is this one, which has 21 million views. That's a lot of people who want to learn how to crochet. That's pretty cool. And then for crochet hook, I recommend getting Upwards and put your thumb through that same loop and grab the tail with your index finger and your thumb and pull through creating a loop. And then with your left hand, you hold the yarn. And then we're gonna pull the crochet hook. So that is one chain. And if this continues like that. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, we're not even up to the crochet part. We're only up to the chain part. Okay, that's. Excuse me. Insert. Two loops on our hook, and we yarn over. So okay, I got it. I think. Please don't use this as a tutorial. This is just to laugh at me. Okay, I think I messed up. Yarn over and pull through. Then you're just going to pull your crochet hook. I literally just undid the whole thing because I think I messed up because I was supposed to have ten stitches, and I had six stitches. Thank you for this first bit of the video. It is the next day and I found a project. See, the first ever crochet thing I'm gonna try and make is this bag thing. And it's gonna be a good storage place for my hooks and stuff. What I'm gonna do is find a way to wrap this wool around this piece of thingy. Look, it looks so manky. I guess I'm going to get started on the project. Four, five, six, and seven. I can't get past the first two rows. And this is what happens is I do like, for example, seven chain stitches. Chain stitches are basically my first row. And so my second row, since I did seven, I'm supposed to do like six for my second row. And I always do less than what's supposed to be there. I don't think I'm doing the second row right. And it's annoying because I want to get it correct. I practiced for a bit. I'm going to try again. Five, six. I think I got it. Now we're gonna do the next step. So continue with the rows. This is my third row. Finish like the shape of the pencil holder thingy. I'm gonna do again, it still looks like a rat's tail. What she said to do next was to do single stitches for every stitch. Basically what we're doing is outlining what we've made with more crochet stuff. I will say that I am getting the hang of what I'm supposed to do, kind of. to do is connect it together here on the sides hi everyone as you can tell I look very different because the last few clips of me you saw I still had my braces on that was literally almost a year ago and I haven't continued crocheting since but I'm gonna continue this video and I will say I'm basically starting from a beginner level again because I have not crocheted since this project. This was the very first project I ever did and somehow I managed to make it. So the first thing that I'm going to try and make for you guys is this crochet heart. 
art and it says it's a beginner tutorial so hopefully it's really easy i don't know what i'm doing but i'm just trying to get back into the crochet kind of pattern level I don't know. also i think this is gonna be my last video for 2022 so happy advanced new year <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm gonna do... Oh, I can't do this. I'm so confused. Okay. So that would be one, two, three, four. So that's one single crochet stitch. Like this. And then yarn over and then you pull through both loops. I... I made a mess. Yeah, we don't. I need to restart. Uh, How do you even pull through two without like messing yeah. up? What? Wait, wait, I did it. I pulled through two loops. Now I don't know where I'm at. Looks really nasty. When it says beginner, this is not even a beginner. Like, I'm like baby stage. She's going so fast. I'm like, I thought this was a beginner story. Okay, I'm just gonna do what crochet does best. I thought a heart would be really easy and then I realized it's really not easy But I want to at least finish a heart if I'm gonna finish off this day And I think circular tutorials that start with like a magic ring or whatever like are more difficult than this Like you're just doing like rows and rows this one you're going around in a circle Basically This is what you do. Okay, so you go like this and then you go like underneath the ring this doesn't make any sense but i'm just like trying to explain it to myself you just grab the wool kaboom and you go back over the ring that and you grab more wool and then you pull through two kaboom guys i think it's actually starting to look like a heart i think i actually managed to make some oh, somewhat of a heart and apparently you just Pull this tight or something to like really make it into like the yarn and i think that's like pretty much what happens so yeah you have like a little heart i did it that was so hard to make this is actually something that i'm pretty proud of yay um so yeah i'm just gonna unravel it now because i don't really need it I found another video. She keeps saying she's being very slow with the explanation, but it was actually like the best like explanation ever. I'm like seven minutes in. I'm trying to learn how to crochet a flower. And I was like, I want to do like one more project for the day. And so that's the project that I'm doing. And I love her so much for being super slow. I made a petal. I've done two petals, and now I'm gonna do two more. Yay! She basically has shown us how to do all the little petals. Ideally, you would have to crochet two more, but again, I don't really need the flower. I just did this just to practice my crocheting. And if any of you are watching this because you want to start crocheting, this tutorial 100% recommend. Like, it was just so easy to follow. She was just going super slow, which is like what I needed. So this one was perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to crochet a little flower. I learned a few things today already. I learned how to do magic knot thingy that they are all talking about i think you mainly use that for like circular projects i'm just wrapping it back up because i don't want to waste this wool yarn i don't know the difference comment down below if you guys know the difference hi everyone so it's been a hot second since i have crocheted but today i decided to work on some amigurimi i don't know if that's japanese yes uh i just googled it it is japanese it's like a japanese style for making like little toys and stuff kind of like a crocheting little ball shape and it can be used for making plushies or like those rounded uh, crochet projects later on so i'm watching this video called amigurimi basics and over the left pull the left strand under the right and turn your hook up towards you and pull it through the loop that is on your hook 
guys, I'm actually knowing how to do this now that I've made the magic circle. Like, ah. You have to pull on, oops, hope I do this right. Oh no, you have to pull on this to, oh, oh, I think it worked. I think I just freaked out to close the circle. <gasps> That's so cool. Look at that. So we have like a little centerpiece that we work off of. That's really cool. So she basically placed a stitch marker. Um, I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to use a safety pin. The stitch marker is apparently just to like mark where you're going, like mark your progress. It just marks where you're at in the circle because it's really easy to lose track because circles can be continuous hope that makes sense. I finished the first bit of my magic circle and so I'm doing this next step of the amigurimi and it's called increasing and I don't want to jinx myself or whatnot but I'm kind of understanding the um the method that's the word. So you insert it into the stitch literally poke a hole through it so you yarn there and then yarn here so you yarn there and then you take the Thing and you pull through both loops. I don't think I'm making any sense. I messed up. <laughs> the stitch marker indicates the start. If I didn't have it, I wouldn't have kept going, if that makes sense. It's been a few days since I last practiced my crochet and I think it's about time that I actually start a project that I'm not going to unwind. <laughs> ah, but here's a mess. I decided to do a crochet rose. I'm going to be using this wool and I'm excited. So let's get started. First step is to make 53 chains. that I just crocheted a bunch of chain spaces. So these little like gaps there are called chain spaces and I'm basically crocheting into them now. I'm doing a double crochet. I'm starting to learn these terms. I'm starting to learn what a single crochet is and what a double crochet is. Look what I've made. <laughs> Right now, I'm just making the, these petals. This is like the last step, I think. Because I am running out of thread, you guys. I'm running out of thread. So what you're gonna be, what I'm gonna be doing later is I'm gonna be wrapping it around. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, you guys. I don't know. Comment down below what y'all think, cause it just looks like a bowl of ice cream, doesn't it? Like it doesn't. Like I can't distinguish the petals. I'm like, uh, oh no, <laughs> that's not what it's supposed to look like. But I just, I really sad. I kind of want to buy more thread, but it literally ran out. Y'all saw. Bad news, I still haven't gotten new yarn to help fix up the rows, but I hopefully will at some point in time. This is where I'm going to call an end to this video. I hope this encourages you to try and learn something new for this year, whether it's crocheting or any other hobby that you want to start. I'm going to leave you guys with this little spewhole that 
that I said while I was crocheting. I think the best advice I would like give to anyone who's starting crochet is just to take it slowly and if the tutorial doesn't make sense, find something more simple to make and don't overwhelm yourself with like the projects. If they're overwhelming, try and go simple first and understand the basis of that before like skipping steps, you know? That's it for today's video. Bye for now and binge watch my old videos.